Ah, that reminds me. Mayor Peter, I haven't had a chance to explain what your work says. Mayor and Tails, correct? When you find a moment, please come to the town hall and be sure to sit in the chair in the back. Hello, everybody. Hyper Mario Sunshine here. And we are here for day two of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome, Amiibo. <clears throat> ah, hello there, Mayor. I've got delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox, so be sure to check it later. When your mailbox is full, I can't cram any more in there, so don't forget to collect your mail, okay? When you have mail, you'll see a blinking sign, like you see now. That's how you'll know. Well, I've got to get moving. I'll see you later. Well, we, uh, obtained more mail. We got from Jack. On October 31st, starting at 6 p.m., the Grand Halloween Festival will begin. I want you to get your scary mask and candy ready. The masks are all sold for 1,031 bells. Here's a little gift. And from an unknown sender. Congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, but one thing led to another... And it's all up to you now. Well, up, all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. Well, we were right. We weren't supposed to be mayor. But this guy is fine with us being mayor. He's, I guess he's really generous. Always wonder who he is, though. And we have attained our first piece of... I well, fur not furniture, but... Clothing, and that's a werewolf mask. So, yes, we could use this for Halloween. Oh, God, there was a pitfall. Pitfall. Receive some cat, some meow coupons. All right, let's see Isabel. So she just told us to sit in this chair. Oh, Mayor Peter, have you settled in and finished unpacking? Wow, really, you must be really efficient when it comes to moving. My bedroom is completely full of unpacked cardboard boxes, and it feels like I moved so long ago. Sorry, please don't tell my brother. I don't let him in my room for this reason. <clears throat> right. I was going to tell you about the town hall. Okay, for starters, the area where I usually stand is the service counter. It's the hub for all Ostia info. I provide a variety of services at the service corner, such as giving people advice for for living in the town. I also listen to requests to change the town tune and flag, and I report on citizen satisfaction. Alright, so... Oh! Can't start... We need a permit, so we're gonna have to, uh... Start doing that. So she said we need a permit. Vice for living here. Uh, no, we have not written a letter. So, what's that? Yeah, so I guess we could write a letter. A lot of the stuff we pretty much already know. Uh, I want to see what Isabel was saying. Like, even though I was skimming through it, I didn't really... Alright, let's... Uh, okay, first we have to own our own house. So first, we can get approval from the citizens. So we need a 100% approval... Oh, it has to be above 15%. Okay. So we have to have a 100% approval rating. So... Let's just do that, and also pay off our house, so whatever we find, we will gather up enough money to do so. So yes, now that we're actually playing in daytime, we actually could do a lot more than just, you know, frolic around the uh, town. 
And of course, our injury is gone from the, la from the last episode. Uh, let's see what Patricia is doing this morning. Uh, some useful information we could go we could go to retail. Anyways, uh, got some rocks here too. Uh, that we could use for later, and our tree actually has started to grow. So that's actually pretty good. Let's actually go here and see who's visiting. Is it someone that... Okay. I don't think it's anybody too spoilery or, you know, not too big of a holiday. It's Blanca! Yes, this is the, uh, famous cat that has no face and you could just legit draw whatever you want. Been a series staple. So you get to see Blanca once in a while. And you can order furniture or clothing that Blanca has only. So it's actually pretty unique for her. Or him. I actually don't know. I, rem I remember Blanca having a female voice. Uh in the original and Wild World, but I don't recall... Oh, I don't recall if she had, like, an, a male voice, because this one sounds more, like, masculine than feminine. Oh, our flower's already dying, because it's fall. Of course, there's the town post, and I guess we could go up here and actually see the shops now. And while we're doing that, while we're doing that, uh... Nobody's there at the moment up there, but here is the Knuckling Junction, so this is the first place we're going to see. It's the shop, and it's quite small. And we got some Halloween candy. It's only 400 bells, but we're not going to buy it. We also have a shovel and a net, which we could also use, and this, these two are furniture I really want. But we don't have any money, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to build this place up from the ground up. We also have the Able Sisters, who could give us clothing and accessories on the other side. So we have Mabel Sable here. Obviously, my favorite character of all of them is Sable right here. But she's not open to us quite yet. Yeah, so here's where we could buy our clothing if we ever want to buy something new. Over here... ...is Label. So we could purchase any accessories or hats, or umbre even umbrellas here. So it's actually quite fashionable. Uh, so far, there's nothing really else open, it's just the town's just really began starting. Well, to begin to start. Over here is a photo booth so we could take a picture. And here's the museum. So yeah, I like the layout of this town. Uh, let's actually write our letter now that we're here. Let's see. Uh, let's write to Peanut, shall we? And then uh, we'll ask us about what to do next. Alright, something simple. And, uh... I guess give her a present. There we go. I mean, I originally was going to sell that, but I was like, eh, we could always find another bee. And that could sing us. And here is the post office. We have Pelly, who works during the day, and Phyllis, who works during the night. And Pete, actually, is the one who delivers everything. Let's see. Send mail... Person in Ostia. And 
here we could deposit and withdraw money, so this is our bank. Well, the ATM machine is technically our bank. And we also have Nook's Homes, which we actually were in before. So let's actually see what the price of our house is so we can begin paying it off. So, $10,000. Well, bells, not dollars. So, that it actually isn't quite a lot compared to previous Animal Crossing games, where it was almost 20000 So, let's actually begin the grind, as well as uh, head back to uh, Town Hall and see what other stuff Isabel could give us, so we can begin a journey to 100% satisfaction and get our permit ready, so we can do orientances. Right, anything in here... You know, we don't really have any bug catching or, or, uh, well, bug, well, bug catching nets or any fishing rods for us to use to, to get anything. I excuse me, you over there. Would you mind coming here? Well, coming over here, please? Uh, okay. Oh, thank goodness. Well, hello, as you can see, I'm a lamp. I mean, I'm inside the, a lamp. Rather important distinction. Anyway, I feel a bit awkward asking for another favor, but would you mind rescuing me? That's right. Just pick up the lamp and take it any somewhere quiet, like your house, for example. I'll make it worth your while. What do you say? All right, let's take this suspicious lamp. So this is actually a new feature when it comes to Welcome Amiibo. All right, let's take some of the oranges and maybe sell them to retail. Which will actually be the first time we actually go to retail as well. Right, we have a full six oranges on us, so we could sell that whatever. Oh no! Alright, we got away, so we could also use that beehive to sell as well. We don't have to have those chasing after us. I would be able to catch it if I did have a net, but unfortunately there is no net that I have in my inventory. But we do get the beehive. I know that you can only get three bees that chase after you in one day, so yeah, that's quite a rough thing to deal with. Alright, 400 bells. Mm, let's head back. If we see anybody, let's go talk to them. Oh, Peanut! And we have our first Wii to pull out. Let's see what Peanut has for us. Oh, she's telling us about the net and fishing rod and whatnot. Yes, I know Peanut. I could find those things there. Nothing in there. Alright, let's quickly put... this stuff away. Let's go to retail for the first time. And another dead flower. Well, flowers, because it's like a little group. Oh, oh, they actually, actually almost headed to the wrong area. Over here, there's also a sign where you could, uh... Purchase, well, that stuff that they purchased for a little bit more on that day, so it's like a little bonus. And we have Timmy, the other Nookling sibling, who also runs the Nookling Junction. And here we have new characters, as we've met them before, Reese and her husband, who we cannot obtain at the moment. I don't know why he walks so slow. <laughs> So let's actually sell some stuff.
Alright, obviously. Magic lamp! We have to sell that. Sell it. Oh my god. We actually could sell the lamp. I actually didn't know. That's actually kind of uh, funny. You could just sell away the person that's in there. Well, we're going to see them quite soon. And we already got almost 2,000 bells. So we're actually quite our way to uh, getting our house. Isabel told us we do need a house, so that's our. We're gonna be one of our other jobs to do. Uh, while we're doing that, let's actually go back and. Oh, there's a mantis there, but unfortunately I can't get that. I was gonna go with my house, well, my tent. Kind of sucks that uh, I do not have uh, all my older stuff. And here it is! Wisp! Ta-da! So you've summoned me, but I don't believe we've met. I am Wisp, the spirit lamp, the lamp spirit. Nice to meet you, so should we grant some wishes, or what? Let's get into it. Wait, why am I all see-through like this? What's happening? Ah, just... I know just the thing. If you have an amiibo, I could use it to... sort of possess another person. It's not as awkward as it sounds, trust me. If you have an Animal Crossing Amiibo, tap it at the bottom screen. Here we go. So, yes, it's a new feature in Welcome, the Welcome Amiibo update uh, compared to our last little thing. And I know just the character who to start off with. Uh, I couldn't get my Amiibo out quick enough. So, we're not going to get any villagers, but I actually do want... Scan this Isabelle Amiibo, or Amiibo card. Give me something right now. So yes, you can use your Amiibos to give you something, or if you have villagers, you actually, villager cards, you actually could get but you just did release me, so here's a little something for you. Accept the gift. A vintage picture of Isabelle. Yes, yeah, so pictures are worth a lot of points, which will be coming in soon. Also, if you scan other villager amiibos, like for example, regular villager amiibos, you will actually get uh, the villager that will actually come to town if you decide to have them move. They also have special items, sort of if they decide to have their trailer, which will be at Harvey's place. And, not only that, but, uh, there were, is some other functions. So scanning, like, let's say, your Link Amiibo, or your Ganon Amiibo, or even your Callie and Mary Amiibos, you actually could get special characters with special items. So yes, they're actually, it's actually pretty cool, this, uh, the Welcome Amiibo thing. I hope they do bring in Animal Crossing Switch. Alright, let's collect some more oranges to sell. We do have Isabel's picture, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, uh, she does have two different cards. One is her regular outfit, and the other one is her winter outfit, where she wears a little jacket, as you've seen. That's why that Isabel looks a tiny bit different than the one we know. Alright, uh... Pretty off to a pretty good start. Uh, yeah, so right now we're just gonna go keep obtaining items, seeing what we can sell to retail. Right, we got nine oranges, so we could sell that for quite a bit. Let's see if there's anything else. Got another 100 bells here. But yeah, I want to see what you guys think. What should what amiibo should I scan if you guys recommend? Uh, 
what villagers would you like to see? Uh, I personally do not have any, like, villager cards that I really like. Uh, like, there's not really any of my favorite villagers. Uh, honestly, I didn't actually go too crazy for the amiibo cards. I just really wanted, like, Isabelle and Sable, which I do have Sable. Which, actually, I'm really happy about. And, actually, uh, I think we could get a bug net now. Oh, oh, I see something that I'm really intrigued about at the back there. Oh, we already made that full, but... I see spot something very interesting, and that is a perfect orange. Which actually looks more like a, a Tangelo, rather than a perfect orange. Like, if you ever seen a picture of a Tangelo, that's what a Tangelo looks like. It literally looks like a, an orange with a bump. Uh, but we actually might need to bury this somewhere, so we're actually gonna go purchase the bug and the bug net and the uh, the shovel, so we could get some extra loot. Yeah. The cut. Anyways, uh, so me, so we might actually do this like once a day when it comes to amiibo scanning, just to see like what presents we get or if we want any special villagers in our town. Anyways, let's purchase our shovel. Also, the perfect fruit also sell for a lot more. I recall in my last town I had perfect pears, and I had too much pears. I do not like pears in my town. I always get every time I always make a town in New Leaf, I always end up getting pears. I'll take it. We also now have a bug net. And yes, we do know how to use it. It's a pretty simple tool. So yes, now we could finally get some more stuff that we could actually use. Uh, we could also bury the uh, perfect orange and pray to God that uh, it grows, because I don't have an orient orient up that makes me... Uh, oh. oh no. I don't know where it is, I'm just going to throw it. Oh, never mind. God damn it. But yeah, I don't have a, anything that could really keep it alive. Like, you know, keep, keep it well. Because I don't have the, uh, the clean town thing, so my tree will basically successfully live. We're going to bury it right here, right in front of the town hall. Bury. You could also eat it as well, but, you know. You know, that's just a waste of, like, growing it. Uh, uh, also, fruit trees, they do not really, uh, well, perfect fruit trees, they don't really last as well long as regular trees. So, we also got our first bug, the monarch butterfly, and I'm gonna hope that this is... Okay, never mind. I was hoping that that was the rock that, uh, explodes to reveal, uh, some money, or some gem. Alright, this might be it. No, it isn't. There's quite a few rocks, but they're actually... I'm actually happy that they're, some of them are quite together, because in my last town, there was actually some rocks that I could not find that, uh... that were fitting. Like, you know, I was trying to just find the rock that had the money, but there were some days where I couldn't. Like, I just looked everywhere. Let's see what's the latest. Oh, he, we got our first uh, opinion thing. Let, let's let's just say it's right over there. And he's gonna give us his shirt as a moving present. So it's a swell shirt. I actually really like this uh, new shirt that he has. It looks cuter on him. Uh, let's wear his old shirt that he just had on. Uh, definitely more in Halloween spirits, actually, the, with the nice coloring. All right, let's catch. God damn it. I don't even know where it went now. Alright, I think the, there's a rock over here. I'm gonna hope that this is either the, uh... The gem, or the... Okay, never mind, it's neither. Because that one will instantly basically get us the house. 
which I'm actually going to end off the episode as soon as I do that. The gem will also do that as well, it will also get us a, quite a bit of a money. Alright, nope. That, those holes will just go away. Alright, this one has to be it. Alright, it's not that either. Alright, there's another one over here, I think. Oh, that, that, that lotus just died. Or Loctus. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that either. There's so many things I do not know how to pronounce. Oh, there we go. Got a ruby. That's always good. Uh, this one's probably it. Or not. Alright, is this going to be one of those situations where I can never find it? Oh, this has got to be it. This has to be it. Oh. Really? There's another rock in the town that has it? Alright, it has, it has to be this one. It has to. Alright. It's not that either. How many rocks are in this town? Oh, another weed. Oh, there's someone new moving, so... It's Daisy. No, not the Mario character. <coughs> Alright, I cannot find this rock at all. I was hoping it would give me... Oh. And we got a rice grasshopper. Another good find. Uh, let's actually head down and see what retail gives us. Hopefully it's 10,000, well, enough bells to satisfy us. Okay, this one has to be it. Yep, it is. Alright, we were a little... we mistimed quite a bit, but because uh, I accidentally was in between the tree and the hole. Uh, and the... I did not want the vacuum to be on, but... I'm not sure if you guys could hear it, but I can. And we are officially not there yet. <laughs> but once we sell our stuff at retail, I think we should be good. I'm actually not going to sell the bugs. I'm actually going to donate them to the museum now that I actually know uh, that I almost have the right amount. Alright, retail. Reese, let's see how much I'm going to get. Oh, I, I said I wasn't going to sell them. I forgot. All right. Three thousand plus bells. That's good. Let's head back quickly to Tom Nook, and we're gonna end off the episode. So yeah, this episode we did quite a bit of progress. We got a bit of a town approval. We got a fishing, well not fishing rod, a, a bug net, and oh, oh, excuse me, a shovel. And we also rescued Wisp, who is now granting us wishes and also giving us presents and possibly new villagers. With this new, uh, the new mode. We're actually coming up on the 30 minute mark. I actually have not done a 30 minute video in a while. Let's head to Nooks and pay him off right there. And, yeah, this has been quite a good episode so far. Uh, by the way, I am going to be playing off screen as well. Just to do some stu little extra stuff here and there. Because, you know, I'm not just going to leave this alone after I'm done recording. It'll be a blue roof. And we could also update the exterior, as you've seen by my old house. I did have a lot of room. 
and we're slowly getting our way back there in this new town. Woo! I paid the down payment. I'll be able to move into my home tomorrow. Anyways, thank you all for watching Day 2 of Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. I can't wait to see our new house tomorrow. So love my videos with the like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, we really appreciate it. The 12th, here we come. We're going to see our brand new house. See you guys then.